Evening tonight from Washington, and we begin tonight with growing concern over the coronavirus here in the U.S. The numbers jumping in the New York City area today, the mayor calling it worrisome. The numbers doubling in Washington state and off California tonight, thousands of Americans are being held on a cruise ship. And here in Washington, D.C., a short time ago, Vice President Mike Pence acknowledging the U.S. does not have enough tests to meet the demand going forward, at least not for now. That first case confirmed in Washington state in late January tonight. There are now 162 confirmed cases across 18 states. Cases doubling in New York and Washington overnight, as I mentioned, and now a state of emergency in California. That cruise ship idling off the coast tonight after the death of a former passenger with coronavirus. The Coast Guard delivering test kits so current passengers can now be tested. And in New York state, so many of the cases they believe are tied to that one man who took the train in from Westchester to Grand Central Station in New York City. He's now in the hospital. His family members and his neighbor have all tested positive. We have it all covered tonight, and we begin this evening with the scene unfolding on that ship off California at this hour, the governor declaring a state of emergency. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, from San Francisco tonight. A hundred miles off the coast of California, a pair of National Guard choppers today hovering over the deck of the Grand Princess cruise ship, dropping kits to test dozens of passengers potentially infected with the novel coronavirus. Just hours ago, passengers telling us all 2,400 of them are now ordered to confine themselves to their rooms. The CDC has recommended that guests should remain in their state rooms for the remainder of the cruise. It comes just a day after the state's first death was linked to the ship. Officials say the 71-year-old passenger had symptoms before getting off the ship two weeks ago. Yesterday morning, this notice slipped under the doors of passengers like Debbie Loftus, who is traveling with her parents who are in their 80s. We're just a little bit alarmed. If we've been exposed, we've been exposed, and there's not much we can do about it. 62 passengers from that earlier cruise remained on the ship for a second consecutive cruise, and some are showing symptoms. The cruise line says all are being tested. The longer we're kept in this confined space, the more likely we're going to catch the virus just because there's nowhere else for us to go. The Grand Princess operated by the same company that ran the Diamond Princess cruise ship, where 700 of the 3,700 on board were infected off Japan. Thousands quarantined on the ship for weeks. In Washington state today, where the virus has killed 11 people, the governor declaring a state of emergency. The number of cases jumping from 39 to 70 in just a single day. This is a period of substantial anxiety in our state. It's real, it's significant, and we need to recognize it. In Seattle, dozens of schools are closed, millions of residents urged to work from home, including employees at Facebook, Amazon, and Google. Pike Place Market usually packed with tourists, today a ghost town. For days outside the Life Care nursing home where six residents have died, families have been begging for answers about their loved ones. People like Pat Herricks, whose mother lived there. I got a phone call this morning that she passed at 3.30 in the morning. She wasn't sick. She'd been really well. Um, as far as we knew, she wasn't sick. And Matt, I want to get back to what you reported there. Passengers say they've now been told to stay in their rooms. One family member uh, back on land saying she's concerned that her parents on board are in their 80s. Uh, any idea how long they could all be held on that ship? David, authorities tell me that they won't make that decision until all of those kits are tested. That's expected to happen at some point tonight. At that point, they'll decide whether to keep that ship offshore, offloaded here at this pier, or maybe quarantine it. In the meantime, you mentioned it, all those passengers not only staying in the rooms, taking their meals in the rooms, and nobody's using that dreaded word, but it certainly looks like a quarantine.